So please follow this video demonstration if you are uh, looking to create an uh, account for meetings, meeting rooms for Microsoft Teams. So log in as you, your admin into your portal.office.com and then go to resource under resource, go to rooms and equipment and um, create a room, click on room and then name, let's say this is my conference room uh east wing or whatever right and whatever name you want to have email address i'm going to say mtr uh, ms teams demo and capacity is 10 in this room location is los angeles office uh floor 10 uh, phone number whatever 213 uh, so your phone number for this conference room and you know it doesn't it's, these are not required but you can have the information populated in ad you can add and creating a room mailbox so this may take a few minutes to replicate in ad uh, once this is done you need to have meeting room license right um, you can actually run a trial um, so to, to the way you can do that is let me show you once this is done so this is complete. Um, actually, you, are, you, can, you can do a couple of options here. So set scheduling options. So allow repeat, repeating meetings, yes or no. Scheduling only during work hours, maybe yes, right? Who, you know, or you don't want people sending accidentally AM to PM and expecting room is booked, something like that. Automatic decline outside the limits below. Booking windows, you know, 180 days max and maximum is 24 hours. Maybe you want to set to you know maximum eight hours meetings auto accept whatever save and you are good to go here so the next step is um you need to get uh, a services so go to under billing go to purchase services and then you may you may see different um on this screen so the what you need to do is um go under this and find uh other plans and uh, should be called a meeting rooms there we go meeting rooms license meeting room trial and um yeah under under this you know meeting room trial the three dots you'll see the the trial button you click on that and acquire the license and it, it doesn't cost you um and after 30 days uh, you can cancel it okay so once that done, go to license phase and you will see meeting room license is added, 24 user, 25 you know, user license and stuff like that. Now um, go to the users tab and you will see the meeting uh, we created one. It should be here. Uh, did we create it or not? Did we finish it? Hello, MTR, MTR, MTR. No? Uh, yeah, right here, MTR MS Teams demo. So click on that. And, and right now there's no license. Click on edit and select a location, which is important. And then select meeting room, all right? And then hit save, all right? So that's it. So once this is done, you can go to your um, meeting Microsoft Teams room device. You can use this account to any vendor devices like, um, you know, Lenovo or Yelling or, uh, Crestron, uh, Polycom, HP Slice, whatever, because all runs in Windows 10 in the back end for Microsoft Teams rooms. So once you create the account, you know, you don't have to be specific to the device. It's just a account for Microsoft Teams rooms. Okay, so um, a couple of things is go to rooms and uh, equipment and go to conference room, the account we created, go to edit exchange settings, in Exchange settings, you can set up a few things, right? The same configurations, um, booking delegates, um, if you need a delegates, booking options. And if you want to the meeting organizer to receive a reply, so you can say, you know, um, you know, thanks for scheduling meeting. Um, this is um, Microsoft Teams room. Uh, please join meeting when with one touch uh, starts audio, video, and content automatically. 
something like that, all right? Whatever he wants to have this, or, you know, this room is in this wing, go to this floor, um, or, you know, whatever message you want to reply back. That's that's what we're looking for. Um, contact office, just fill out the contact information, um, email address, and blah, 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 mailbox delegation, so you don't really need to change. So that's, that's it. So hit save and you're good to go. All right, so next video we will, um, I will, go to actual device and we'll configure the device to run the uh, Microsoft Teams rooms.